armed robbery suspect shot and killed after stealing a police cruiser and then taking off. And the suspect started to come out of the passenger door armed with the patrol rifle. The state police stop team member discharged his weapon and shot the suspect. Neighbors and people in traffic were actually pulled out of their cars and told to run for cover. And they told us to get out, like get out of the area as fast as we could. So we just was hiding around the corner the whole time. We have team coverage of the chase, the shooting, and the questions which remain tonight. And this all started with the convenience store robbery in Rockland. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Paula Eben in for Lisa Hughes. Now, during the confusion after that robbery, the suspect stole a police cruiser and then led police on the chase. We have team coverage on this story for you tonight, beginning with WBZ's Beth Germano live in Quincy, where it ended. Beth? It all ended here with the deadly confrontation on Bergen Parkway as the suspect had managed to escape one police dragnet after allegedly robbing a Rockland convenience store and making his way up Route 3. By the time he got here, officers knew he was armed with one of their own weapons inside that cruiser as they finally talked him out. The Rockland cruiser that was stolen firearms involved. This was his first break from police, cruising down Bergen Parkway in Quincy with units in pursuit. The 36-year-old suspect in a now heavily damaged Rockland police vehicle he allegedly stole after an armed robbery. You just see the, the police cruiser coming down the road and we're like, okay, has no front, you know, it's totaled up in the front and just these guys, the SWAT team just plowed right into him to hold him still. I heard all the commotion and then I seen the cars collide together and it was just it was nuts finally pinned in at bj's gas busy with customers some two hours after it all began and police were desperate to get everyone to safety and they told us to get out like get out of the area as fast as we could so we just was hiding around the corner the whole time they told me to duck and cover the cruiser now wedged between two armored police vehicles had escaped one police stop in a pursuit from rockland to quincy but the suspect couldn't get far after driving over stop sticks that heavily damaged Damaged the tires, and police began negotiating with the man for a second time. On the, like the SWAT vehicle and everything, telling him like the orders, like get out the car, stuff like that. And out of nowhere, everyone's like, "Yo, he's down." A little while ago, we heard the pop. The sound of a gunshot. As video shows police moving in, they say he not only stole the cruiser, but there was a patrol rifle inside. Despite the numerous requests to surrender, the suspect started to come out of the passenger door armed with a patrol rifle. The state police stop team member discharged his weapon and shot the suspect. I could hear the guy saying just, you know, come out and everything will be over. You'll walk away. And I guess the guy didn't want to walk away. The district attorney says it was an unfortunate ending to the chain of events. They're faced with an armed suspect. They have decisions to make. And the DA says those decisions will now be reviewed as the investigation tries to answer many questions, including how the suspect was able to access that police cruiser with the patrol rifle inside. Reporting live from Quincy, I'm Beth Germano, WBC News. No,